Hello, it's great to be with you, and I don't think anybody is going to complain, especially about the weather. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary partner on this occasion is Stuart Robson. And coming up for you is live action from Major League Soccer. It's into Miami, and they take on Orlando City. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. The initial 11 today for the hosts. Well, it's a 4-4-2, but with a number 10 playing off the two strikers. If he can find space, pick the right passes, and at times run with the ball, he could be the match winner today. This is the lineup for the visitors today. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated, and it could be difficult for them. And now they get the ball rolling. The Andre Yedlin. Martinez. A chopping challenge. And the referee has got to have a big think about it. Well, the referee's stamping his authority on the situation. He's decided to book him, Stuart. Well, you can't get away with that, even this early in the game. That's a bad challenge. Easy save. Ojeda. And back with Pedro Galesi. Felipe. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. And the referee is quite rightly letting it go. Difficult to stop him. He read the cross, but now must clatter it clear. Well, he's lost it. He takes aim, and a body in the way. Martinez. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. And the referee has caught up with him following his indiscretion earlier. Ojeda. Pereira. And the pass, a good one. Well read to ease the pressure. Martinez. He's got the right idea with that pass. It looked as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. Well, since they have the ball, the referee playing advantage here. I must say, this looks promising. Real chance. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. has restarted 1-0 here Number 17, Joseph Alexander Martinez. 
So getting close to the half-time interval and it's going with home advantage, albeit not by a lot. Stuart, what have you made of what you've seen so far? Well, I think they've been the better side in this first half. They've defended well, they've looked dangerous in attack and they've controlled the midfield. It's been a solid performance so far. And out for a throw-in, just misfiring with the pass. Jean. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. His fate lies with the referee who booked him earlier. And his day is done. Second yellow card, Stuart. Well, I have to say, it was coming. Why was he not taken off earlier? And thwarted there, following the cross. Martinez. Now the stoppage time situation. One minute here. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Well, nothing wrong at all with what Josef Martinez offered in the first half. Sum up his performance for us. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead. Well, they've got things going again here. And I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Oh, great attacking play. But a good piece of tidying up. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Well, it looked highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. Felipe. Cara. Oh, a perfectly timed pass, and a fine stop. They favoured a short one here. Oh, good-looking run. Oh, frustration for those waiting in the middle. Behind for another corner. Can they cash in? It's a short corner. Gives it a go. Well, not the easiest of saves, but you'd expect him to stop it. In search of the equaliser. Going short. Oh, this is looking promising. And the keeper there to deal with it. And they're going for the short one. Well, they'll try to keep the pressure on in the form of another corner. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. And taken short. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Well, not a great cross, making the goalkeeper's job rather easy. Well, there you can see it. The hosts haven't been able to control possession, but their counter-attacking has been really good, particularly in the wide areas. It's been an excellent performance from them so far. And having to soak up a bit of pressure again here. Oh, what a goal! A tremendous strike! Hard to believe that he elected to take on that shot. Absolutely brilliant. Well, as you can see, this is a great bit of skill. He hits it perfectly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant strike.
So underway again here on the back of that leveller. 15 minutes left for play. Well, they still have designs on the win. How about the cross? An alert piece of defending. Intelligent threaded pass here. No nonsense clearance. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw in. Time for a change then. Money prevented it from going over the line. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. He's in behind. And the keeper's in trouble. And a goal! How important could that be? A dramatic turn of events. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and the finish showed great composure. Just to lift it over the goalkeeper. That's a lovely goal. And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today. Defeat for them. Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time. Well, he often cuts the figure of a thinking person's footballer. And Stuart, he's thought his way throughout this match. Well, he's the match winner, and deservedly so. He was outstanding today. He's great to watch when he's in this sort of form.